What's going on there guys? Good evening. The Earthmaster here with an update video on this uh, Tuesday evening. April 5th is the date 2022 about 7.01 p.m. California time and the latest quake out there showing a 2.2 earthquake into the region of the uh, Mediterranean looks like right there. A couple twos popping up here over the last couple hours in this area. Although uh, most of the time I tend to keep this up a little bit in the magnitude department. I don't like a whole bunch of microquakes popping up here on the globe, but a 2.2, the latest quake on the map from the uh, EMSC model. Let's go ahead and check out the latest activity here on the USGS scale. Showing some movement out there around the region of the uh, Mediterranean, a little bit on the uh, above the 2.2 scale, 4.4 out here around Greece at 10 kilometers just outside the Mediterranean Sea area around Crete. Looking at the rest of the area, pretty quiet throughout the Middle East. One earthquake over here around China, 5.2 kicking off here at 10 kilometers below surface. And a trail of activity here uh, working its way down into the Philippine Plate. The western portion of the Philippine Plate here is showing some movement over the last 24 hours. Uh, a couple of fours kicking off there and also down here in the New Zealand area or uh, Tonga Trench, I should, should say. Seeing some deep movement once again. 4.3 in the Fiji Islands area at 548 kilometers. I want to check out real quick though the GeoNet servers, see what we got going on here throughout the region of New Zealand. A lot of times uh, these guys do have some swarms and whatnot kicking up here. I do want to check this out, see what we got. Uh, a little bit of activity around the North Island area, down into the South region as well. Uh, latest quake here shows yesterday a 3.6. Uh, this here shows the last 365 days of earthquakes, a week or greater, around the New Zealand area. I'm going to check out the all map here. Sometimes these guys, though, are kind of, uh, uh, they throw out a bunch of earthquakes, which are not really legit, and ended up getting deleted. But it uh, looks like a little small microquake activity over the last few hours or so over the course of the day. I'm not seeing any major movement to report there in the uh, New Zealand area uh, on the GeoNet servers. Uh, getting back to the USGS map here, uh, West Coast. A little bit of activity, right? Kicking up into Northern California region. The all magnitudes map doesn't uh, add too much in the way of uh, multitudes here. A couple earthquakes around the Chester area. That was from this morning, uh, just outside of Chester and some further movement here along the Cascadia subduction zone, Northern California. Aside from that, not a whole lot going on throughout the Pacific Northwest. Some earthquake activity outside of the Mount Vernon area. Some deeper movement, 12 and 14 kilometers for a pair of microquakes. Uh, well north of Seattle, around Mount Vernon, as I mentioned. And uh, a little bit of activity down here south of Mount Rainier. <clears throat> Nothing to report here at Mount St. Helens. Uh, we'll go ahead and check out the overview here of uh, Yellowstone National Park. I'm going to jump in here real quick and see uh, <clears throat> if they've updated their system yet, which they haven't. It's been kind of odd. And this is not just this site right here. This site, uh, it's called isthisthingon.org. I've been using this site for many years and uh, donated to this gentleman, I believe, who owns this uh, site as well when they asked for it because I utilize this uh, page quite often. Uh, and I do appreciate the overview and the work here on the, uh, on the site, but it's not their fault. Uh, whatever's going on is on the USGS side. This data is still from the 3rd and the 4th UTC time. So this is a, a, coming up on a few days old now. So I'm not for sure what's going on. I've double checked the University of Utah seismograph stations and they're still showing the same stuff. Uh, so I, I don't know. There's just no data coming in from the Yellowstone area. Uh, but we do have a live station, uh, live data station coming in on the, uh, on the live seismographs here on the live stream. So that's still at least a plus, right? I would be uh, wondering what's going on if they were hiding not only the recorded data, but the live data, I'd be like, okay, what do we got going on up here, folks? Anybody feeling any rumbling? But they're not hiding the uh, live data. I'm hoping it's live. Hopefully it's not pre-recorded, but uh, you never know these days. You just never know. So uh, nothing going on there at Yellowstone, supposedly. I haven't seen any major swarms kicking up on the live stream. 
Uh, throughout the region of Montana, Idaho area, things look like they're calming down. Not a whole lot of movement up there in that area. Uh, throughout California, eastern part of Sierra Nevada, down in the Southern Cal. Just some uh, typical movement. No major swarms to report, folks, in the region. Uh, looks like a general typical day in the California region. Man, seen a whole lot of violent, severe weather out in Georgia, Alabama area. Throughout the day today, holy smokes, man. These guys have been getting hit hard the past couple of years with the La Nina season. Uh, putting that severe weather threat further into the south. Wow. Uh, so some movement out around Puerto Rico today as well. About 10 earthquakes. No major movement as well in that region. Uh, South America area. Getting a little swarm, a little cluster of swarming activity here over the course. Uh, looks like a little bit over, uh, yeah, about 12 hours or so. A couple fours kicking up here. Somewhat deep as well. Uh, down to about 200 kilometers into the subduction zone of the Peru Chile Trench. So a little bit of heightened activity here in South America. And we did see a 5.7 earthquake return to the South Sandwich Islands area after a pretty good quiet spell of movement. This one about 33.6 kilometers. So a little ways down into the subduction zone there of the trench. Hawaii, what do we got going on in the Big Island or on the Big Island here? Loihi Seamount still showing a little bit of activity from this morning. And one earthquake up here around Mauna Loa, a 2.1, pretty shallow there, right at the surface, negative 1.8. A lot of times you got to watch for uh, these major surface swarms. We're not seeing any swarming, but sometimes when we do, it could be a telltale sign of some uh, impending volcanic activity there in the region. Uh, I know this map isn't showing it here, uh, but I could have swore I seen a 4.0 or a 4.5 come into the Azores. Uh, earlier this afternoon I'm gonna check out the EMSC model uh, just USGS is getting they're getting flaky I'm, I'm gonna say it. they're getting very flaky in terms of uh, their quality and and the type of reporting that they uh, uh, normally do or should do anyway because they're getting paid right getting paid to sit back and just provide the public with transparent data yeah right okay uh, so let's go here to the, I'm not for sure what happened to the map. The map's kind of missing here. It's kind of odd. Um, let me refresh this and see what's going on here. There we go. All right. So let's see here. What is this one? F I don't believe that's it. Maybe it was around the Azores. Let me see what this one is here. Let me zoom into the map. I don't believe it's this. Let me check here real quick. Stand by for a second here, folks. Um, that's a 4.0. Maybe that's the one that came in. The Azores Cape, uh, St. Vincent Ridge area. That's got to be it. Okay. So not specifically there. Around the Azores. Just off there a little bit. Of course, they've been having that uh, volcanic activity. Quite a bit, right? Uh, really quite a bit. Stand by for just one second here while, while I pull up something on my end. Uh, I want to show you guys an article that uh, was put out here by uh, a news agency. Stand by for just a second here while I get this pulled up. One second here, folks. All right, there we go. Okay, so this article put out here by Reuters.com. Uh, Earth scientists try to solve enigma of quake hit Zorin Islands Island. Uh, this was put out April 5th. So today, uh, these guys are stating here, filled with uncertainty, experts are scrambling. Experts are scrambling, oh my gosh. Uh, for answers to explain unusual seismic activity that has rattled the mid-Atlantic volcanic island of Sao uh, George, Sao George or Jorge. I can't remember exactly how to pronounce that. I, I keep forgetting. You guys get it. It's right there highlighted. You pronounce it. <laughs> In Portugal's Azores, uh, what is that? Where archipelago? Okay, for over two weeks. So about two weeks of activity. Uh, the island has been hit by nearly 27,000 small tremors as of Tuesday, and there are fears the activity could herald a volcanic eruption for the first time since 1808 or a powerful earthquake. So, uh, 
it's kind of crazy, right? To see this type of movement, that amount of activity. Uh, it's an enigma, a mystery, said seismologist, this guy or girl, uh, depending on the name there, <laughs> explaining multiple tremors were common on the other islands, but not in the South George area. Uh, I still haven't found a clear answer, they state. Uh, going from a very small number of earthquakes to thousands is extra extraordinary, he said. Uh, the volcanic alert is at level four, meaning there is a real possibility the volcano could erupt. But when, where on the island, and if it will actually happen are questions that remain unanswered. So far, all the recorded earthquakes have been of tectonic origin and not volcanic, reaching a magnitude of up to uh, about 3.8. If they become volcanic, it means magma is on the move. The number of daily quakes has decreased in recent days, but experts are not sure if that trend will continue. Ground deformation has already been detected, which is unusual given the tremor's tectonic origin and low magnitude. So, kind of a deal. Uh, we're watching pretty closely. Uh, it's not clear what kind of eruption could take place, adding that previous seismic events in 1580 and 1808 were marked by deadly pyroclastic flows. Volcan uh, volcanologists also keep an eye on soil gases and earthquakes of uh, their depth. That's very important there when looking at uh, volcanic activity. Uh, the earthquakes here on the island are happening at average depths of about 8 to 12 kilometers. And uh, it's a significant number starting or start occurring closer to the surface. It might indicate an imminent eruption. So we start seeing significant numbers closer to the surface. That's when things might be getting interesting. So it could drag on for an undetermined amount of time right so we don't really know no one really specifically knows what's going to happen the earth is going to do what it wants to but uh i thought that was pretty interesting there look at that little earthquake right now off the coast of northern california a 3.2 just coming in to the gorda ridges area just checking out the live seismograph stations here and uh i don't see anything showing up here on the graph there is a little bit of activity into the yellowstone region here uh, and also around Southern California, I'll show you guys here on the live seismographs, uh, station called Barrett, seeing some activity right here, Southern California right here, see these well-defined spikes, that's some uh, localized earthquake activity, quite a bit happening it looks like, uh, Solomon Island's pretty quiet, but here's Yellowstone, there's a pretty good spike of, a, of an earthquake on Yellowstone, nothing big, but uh, there's some type of movement going on there, and it just kind of bugs me that... Uh, we're not able to access the recorded data. But uh, either way, 3.2 coming into the Ferndale, California area, well off the Cascadia, but on the Gorda Ridges out here. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the tremor map here, which just plays a big part in the overall seismic activity around the West Coast. And tonight, or at least today, over the past uh, 24 hours, showing only uh, 264 epicenters confined up here to the Vancouver Island ranges. So nothing being reported here in Northern California. Uh, so things kind of uh, up here to the north right now. All right. Uh, okay, folks, I'm going to jump off here. And uh, like I say, there's a little bit of activity taking place out here, folks. It's just a little quiet spell. Solar weather remains relatively quiet as well. Uh, we are looking at possibly G storm, G1 class storm later tonight uh, as we get into the sixth uh, time frame after midnight. Um, we'll see if that kicks up or not. Right now, it looks like KP index around the 1 range, so not a whole lot going on in the uh, KP index, but we'll see if that hits us and if it provides some uh, awards there for the higher latitudes and chances look uh, pretty high there for those folks. All right, guys, uh, have a good night. Stay safe out there. Got to watch the barbecue. Got some oysters and a uh, nice juicy tri-tip out there on the, on the uh, grill this evening. And once again, you know me, barbecuing it and smoking it with some black walnut bark. I kind of like to soak the black walnut bark in the water and uh, put that baby right on top of the hot coals. And man, it smokes out the entire neighborhood. That's good stuff. <laughs> All right, guys, have a good night. Stay safe out there. We will chat you a little bit later on. Have a good night. Peace out.